I love the music interludes on the show. Hey, a family in Alexandria is leaving its mark on the world with the help of 28,000 plus people. Let me introduce you to the people behind the world's largest ball of pain. My name is Mike Carmichael. I live in Alexandria, Indiana, and I have the world's largest ball of paint. It's not just as simple as declaring it. Mike has been working on this big ball of beauty for more than 40 years. This is what it started out with, and this is what it is today. And it weighs 9,210 pounds. When my boy turned three, I let him paint the first layer on there. After his son applied the first coat, his family has spent day in and day out adding layer after layer. My son and my family all still paint it. In fact, my wife's only painted it close to 8,000 times. Only? Only, <laughs> yeah. They've had a lot of help over the years from anyone and everyone who happens to stop by and see the amazing acrylic attraction. It's been amazing the amount of people that's come through here over the years. And uh, I, I get a lot of support out of it. I get, I get, a, I, I meet a lot of interesting people from everywhere. Mike says one visitor though sticks out more than most. It was when Dick Wolsey of Channel 8 actually come here and filmed it. And I, uh, he, he kept in touch with it. So I honored him as the 20th thousandth layer. That was one of my goals. And he painted the 20th thousandth layer. Sign my name. The ball of paint has grown quite a bit since then, but Mike says it's hard to tell. Since I see it every day, it don't seem like it's growing. But it is. I should know. I added layer 28,301. Paint what you want and I'll help you and I'll, right. I'll do some bottom. With every layer of paint added is another story for Mike to tell. Uh, about a week and a half ago, I had, I had my first marriage in front of it. So that was, a, that was a first. But those layers are also a reminder of how his family has grown right alongside the world's largest ball of paint. As all my kids were growing up and all my grandkids were growing up, I always set them on top and let them, I got their picture sitting on top. And I've done that uh, for every everybody uh, in the family, all the kids in the family. And they're, of course, their mothers are a little scared. You know? Mike could have stopped a long time ago. After all, he does it for free, and the likelihood of someone catching up at this point seems as far-fetched as the current ball itself. But he has no plans to quit. Uh, I could have stopped many years ago, but it was just something that uh, I wanted to do and try. Plus, what would the grandkids do when they come over? I try to keep it in the family to be fun. I'm telling you, like... It, the video doesn't do it justice. Yeah. Seeing that thing in person is just almost breathtaking. And I know that seems so silly because it's just a ball of paint. But You and I were talking earlier. I was really glad to see the mention of Dick Wolfsey. Yes. Because, I mean, Wolfsey's, he gets, he gets what you get, which is that feature stories are far more memorable than whatever the latest activity of the Gun and Knife Club is. Yeah. Uh, and he always did a great job with them. So. Well, Mike was saying he's hoping to get Dick maybe out there to do the 30,000th layer, which would go. still take about two and a half years because it takes that long to put that many layers on. So, um, But a great family and, and great stories, and so a lot of fun to get to do that one. Stuff.